we're going to take a look at skeletal animation and how we can use the sequencer system in order to create our own inside of the editor. You'll notice this map looks different. I've created a file, new project, using one of the feature examples. It's the Animation 101. This is a great project if you want to learn how the cinematic sequence device and animated meshes work inside of UEFN. And I'm going to use this for my example because it has a skeletal mesh that we can use. If we go into our animation content folder, under meshes, we can find our Fortnite mannequin. We can actually see the Fortnite mannequin sitting here by itself, ready to play back an animation. Let's animate a new animation using that skeletal mesh. I'm going to drag it into our world and drop it. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate it so I can get a little bit better look. And we can use a level sequence in order to create a control rig so we can animate the bones similar to the way we animated keyframes for our post-process volume. I'm going to right click in our browser, cinematic level sequence. I'll call this sequence animation and we'll open it up by double clicking. Let's add that actor into our sequencer by going to actor to sequencer, add Fortnite mannequin since I have them selected. And now we need to make that control rig setting. We can right click on our Fortnite mannequin track, go up to edit with FK control rig, and it's going to ask us what we want to do in order to create our control rig. We have two main options that I care about here, reducing keys true or false. If it's set to false, it's going to bring in our mannequin and we're going to have a key for every single point inside of our timeline. Now, if we wanted to, we could select all those keys and delete them. And now we have a basic blank control rig without anything keyed out. Or we can go back in. We'll go ahead and edit with FK control rig again. Choose reduce keys. Since this mannequin is going to be doing my animation from this position and I want to return to this position, this worked out nicely because now we have a starting keyframe and an ending keyframe in this neutral position. You'll also notice the animation mode opened up in the top left. This is where we have the ability to change some options for our control rig. You can refer to the documentation for more about that. But for our purposes, we just need the ability to have our hierarchy for our skeleton shown. I'm going to go ahead and click on one of the shoulders. I'm going to make sure I have the actual upper arm bone selected and not one of the twists. Let's move this over. We'll rotate the arm a little bit. Because we have auto keyframe turned on, it added that keyframe. And now we have a little bit of motion. We'll move it a little more to another spot. You'll notice it's automatically trying to go back now because we have the final resting keyframe at the end. So let's say another 80 frames. We'll move this up a little bit. I'm going to now try to find the elbow. We can see here at lower arm R2. We'll rotate a little bit. I also want to move that upper arm a little bit more. Make sure we select the upper arm again. Rotate it a bit more like this. We now have a little basic animation saluting. Maybe we want to pause for a little bit before we go back down. We can select our keyframes, copy them with control C, move to where we want, paste them with control V. Now we can see it goes up, it hangs for a little bit, and then it's gonna go back down. And it'll repeat this as needed. I'm happy with this. I'm gonna save my sequencer. We're going to go back up to our top find our Fortnite mannequin in our track, right click and bake it to an animation sequence. Animation sequences are the animations that we can see played back on our skeletal meshes. I'm gonna put it in the animations folder. I'm gonna call this wave Manny because this is the mannequin waving. And once it's been created, we can close our sequencer. We don't need it anymore. We'll go back into our animations folder and now we can see we have wave Manny. We also have all the other animations for this mannequin that can be played back. But the one we care about is Wave Manny. If we open it up, we can see we have our little wave. We already have a mannequin set up right when we start this little example that has an animation to play waiting for it. So let's drag our mannequin wave in. So this way, when we load up this map for testing purposes in a second, it's going to go ahead and play back that wave. Now, if you want to have your own devices set up in order to do this, we're looking for the animated device. We can go back under Fortnite devices. Let's look for animated. And we can find the animated mesh device. If we were to put this into our world, it's going to ask us what skeletal mesh we want to play back. 
maybe what animation we want to play back. For example, here is this emote. And then you have other options such as if it's looping, how it plays back, and the ability to trigger it like any other device. For our purposes though, we're simply going to use the Fortnite Skeletal Mesh just to play back this animation. Let's go ahead and launch our session. And inside of our Fortnite edit session, we can see this fun little animation playing back on our Skeletal Mesh right as we walk in. And with that, that's going to cover the basics of UEFN. There's of course more that we can cover and look at, and we're going to wrap up with some more information and where to go from here.